I just thank God because throughout all of this, my doctors were just saying they would be amazed. And this was a process for me for the last six months, going to one doctor's appointment after the next. And when you have a rare condition, you die. You have to go through every test in the world before they can say you have a rare condition. Mm -hmm. And the doctors would always look at me and be bad because they would say this kind of, I had a tumor on my liver, this type of tumor, this large, and this, just this large, you shouldn't be walking around like this. But every time I walked around, I was fine. And when they would say, are you in dire pain? I would say, I actually, I'm not in any pain. When I was in the ICU at the hospital, they said, you're the first ICU patient we've ever seen who flat ironed her hair. <laughs> my husband bring the flat iron and me get <laughs> But I thank God that I can laugh about things and I just yeah. thank God for I thank God for my family. I thank God for my husband who is by my side every step of the way and my wonderful parents and my sister and my brother in law, my niece and my nephew. I thank God for you for every prayer, every card, every phone call, every text. Thank you. Um, I might not respond to phone calls just yet because I do get very fatigued, and I'm still on a recovery journey. Um, I am on a medical leave from work, so I will just be on that leave for an extended time. But as I get better, I'll respond to phone calls, I'll respond to text messages. But I love you all, and I thank you so much. God bless you.
God, I pray for you every day and all the time. Amen. And what better opportunity to give me to, to give the affirmation of faith at this time? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Well, friend, the greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. You see, that big pile of rock and stones that I saw was more than just rocks. It was a symbol of spiritual rebuilding. Title of the sermon, Rebuilding the Rubble. It's a symbol of spiritual rebuilding from breakdown and ruin. A symbol, says they'll say, of rejection and renewal. Man, man. And a promise of hope. Just the metal over the metal of restoration. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody know that God is a restoring God? Yeah. He specializes. Yeah. Somebody ought to get him praise. Yeah. Look at the Lord brought you from. Restore it to life. For the lover, for the lover. As we gather here today in this house of prayer, thank you, Lord. Amen. Look how God is beginning to send the people back into life. Give him praise. your life in the midst of rubble. God often uses people and stories from the Bible to encourage us on our faith of journey. Somebody needs encouragement today. Is that somebody you? We can't tell a book by its cover. Nobody knows what anybody's going through before they get to the house of God. Thanks be to God. Somebody is coming to worship at Franklin St. John. And they didn't come here for no cold cuts. They want a pipe and hot meal. Glory to God. Tell the people, Brother Pastor, how the Lord brought you over. Anybody in here that the Lord brought your life over? Is there anybody in here that God has been rebuilding your life? I wish somebody would help me today. Is there anybody in here that cannot forget? We sing that song, Jesus, I never forget what you what done for me. Is there anybody in here that cannot forget what God has done for you? Let me tell you something about rubble, debris. Yeah. Folks have pressed their way here. God has told me they pressed their way up in Zion because yeah. they've come through broken rubble, yeah. broken doors. Yeah. They had to get here on broken streets. Some of them drove broken cars. Yeah. Somebody ought to give him praise. Doctor, 
have enough sense to know that um, everybody, Tyson's, want a little bit more financial love? Your neighbor knows what I'm talking about, they call it money. But now, there's some places, excuse me, in heaven, money won't do you no good. It's a different currency there, glory to God. Heaven is a holy place. The weary will cease from trouble. Ain't no devil up there. At one time, it happened to get kicked out. Somebody said kicked out. Oh, uh, Minister Johnson, maybe they don't quite understand me. Say he get evicted. He's not there no more. Oh! <laughs> 
as I stand here, let me give you this prescription now. Glory to God. My wife has taken my Holy Ghost mask off before we go and drop on the floor. But I just want to give you this prescription. You see, Nehemiah, yeah. he was an MOG. Well, What's the MOG? Yeah. Come on, see. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, God is looking for some men of God. Yeah. God is looking for some men and women yeah. who believe yeah. that he has all power. Start praising your Savior. 
Franklin St. John's, we are open and we encourage you to come back into the house of God on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Do not be missing in action. We also invite you to connect with the church in the following ways and by participating in the following ministries. Prayer every Wednesday morning at 6.30 a.m. Please call 667-770-1259, access code 790-771, pound or hashtag. You can also connect with us in Bible study at 11.30 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. on Wednesdays. The Bible is a great way to connect with the Lord. The music ministry continues to meet on Zoom at 7 p.m. on Tuesdays. This is open to all members of the church who enjoy fellowshipping with the Lord and also music. The Sunday school continues to meet in the cyber format at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings. And the Agape Food Pantry will still distribute food on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. But now they will be distributing food on the second and fourth Wednesdays. Please come out and be blessed. When you've been blessed by God, how can you repay God? We can't, but we can still give a tithe to the Lord. We ask you to give in three ways, either mail your check or offering to the church. Give through the virtual form of Givelify, through the Givelify app, or the cash Remember, app. God loves a cheerful giver. Franklin St. John's, please make sure you come back to church as we celebrate our pastor and first lady on their road to retirement. Make sure that you come so you can wish them a final farewell over the next few months. Dr. and Mrs. Terrell, we love you. Job well done. Franklin St. John's, may God continue to bless you this week. A miracle is coming your way. Thank you.